Thinking, was there a point where you knew, okay, this is a cat, this cat will go and do anything it wants to do whenever it wants to do it? Yeah. <laughs> as soon as we got him, he never wanted to stay in. We tried to keep him in for the eight weeks, you know, just so that he knew that we were, he was going to be living with us. And uh, we eventually let him out. And that was the end of that. He found a home around the corner. He found Aldi. We didn't realise he was hanging around Aldi for so long until people started posting him on Facebook. Right. And we started going into the shop. And there was photos popping up all over the place. Um, Could you kind of think of a cat heaven would be, you know, they, they can kind of have like, you know, a, 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 a scratching post to high as a spire or they can go to somewhere where, you know, ca you know, catnip just runs freely. He chose a large German supermarket. Yeah, yeah, he has, he has all his, um, he has that scratcher. He never used it. A lovely one, a nice expensive one, never used it. Right. Um, he... But that choice, I suppose, do you think he, he obviously likes company then? Because it's a busy place. It's not like he can have a bit of peace and quiet. He, he must obviously like the interaction of people just going and coming and all yeah, that. Yeah, and sitting on the car bonnets and getting petted and getting free food. <laughs> he sits with Julian, who's, um, you know, the homeless guy who sits outside. Right, right. So then we started chatting to Julian and Julian said, keep an eye on him. Great. He sat there every day. But it was one day then when we asked Julian, have you seen the cat? Because we got used to him not coming home every few days. Yeah. So we weren't too worried the first time. And we didn't see him for two weeks, so we thought he was after getting robbed. So is there a kind of a belief that he, you know, there's obviously he could have made a mistake and stepped into a car or a van while it was being loaded. Um, there's obviously the possibility somebody took a shine to him and thought, oh, he must be astray, I'll take him home. Did yeah. you have any kind of idea of what happened? Well, I believe that I believe maybe he got into the back of a pickup truck because he doesn't like the car. If you put him in the car, ah. he sits on the dashboard. So um, he'd definitely be spotted in the car. Yeah. He was found down in Ashford Studios and the lady who had found him, Shelley, she said that her husband had been shopping a couple of weeks before that up there. So she said maybe he was in the boot. Right. Maybe he jumped right. into the boot. Okay. And then he was hanging around with wild cats and she had just presumed he was a wild cat as well. Hmm. Until he came, he started going into the house and sitting on her lap and then she realised he's very well looked after. There were rumours that he'd heard about a fish shop opening up in Ashford and he just wanted to... <laughs> <laughs> But no. that was that a re I, I, I was kind of I think everybody was sort of worried. Everybody sort of feels who knows, like everybody. you know, because cats go kids. off and miles away from home, and you don't know what happens to them. And there was yeah. a lot of people asking me, has, "Has he been found?" And a lot of people. There was one girl, Lisa Brady. She'd done the strictly as well. Her kids love him. They yeah. were really upset. So no, he was definitely he definitely didn't go by choice because we've never seen him as stressed as he is. He right. kind of had hair loss on his ears, lumps all over him. He lost loads of weight. We should say no. He's 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 happy out today. Like you he's know, so he's, he's getting back to his uh, routines of of going exploring and. Yeah, he's only just started that this week. Right. So a whole week he stayed in. He was very cuddly and he's never cuddly. So he <laughs> up with my mom on the couch around my brother. Didn't want to leave, so he definitely got a shock. It's against cat rules, I think. If you're too friendly <laughs> with your owner, it just gives the wrong impression that they're not. You know, yeah. they're not. I the must powerful go around one. the corner though and check because he's been around to see them. He goes. I don't know what number it is, but it's Burnaby Avenue. It's the second last house. And right. He lives there. Spotted him in their kitchen a few times when I've been going on a walk through the middle lane. So. <laughs> Having a fag out the back and after the, a good meal. Their neighbour, they call him Johnny Cash. Nice. Good oh, name. Yeah, very well. Missed. So I'm guessing that, was it a phone call? Was it just a, a social media alert? It was you... a social media alert. Someone right. had just tagged him and said, is anybody missing a cat? That's Shelley from Rashford Studios. And how did that feel when you saw? And then that... posted it to me and I was at yeah. work. So I got all excited. I was 100% sure it was him. Of course. Yeah, yeah. I had received another post about two weeks before that. And the cat looked exactly the same when he had brown eyes. Okay. Frankie, Frankie has green eyes. Right. But it's definitely Frankie when you pet him, he sticks his bum up in the air. <laughs> <laughs> he literally goes on his bum and sticks it in the air. Um, so that feeling that 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 you know a, a pet, you know, especially with a little bit of freedom, you just have to take that risk that they go out and about. You mean you you would probably be a little, I don't know, cautious yourself. Initially, yeah, well, we're a little bit. Well, I'm sure he's going to be a little bit more cautious. I don't think he's going to sit on the car bonnets anymore. But yeah, we were worried. We were very happy to get him back. Right. But we're, we're a little bit worried now as well. It's I don't think anyone's going to steal him because of all no. his publicity now. Ah, he's too famous. But I, I work up in Gourmet Greystones and a lot of customers have said to me, I was going to bring him home. I was <laughs> Only for he looks very well looked after. Well, we'll establish now that he's got a very, very happy home and that he has a base home. to come back to. When he's finished his exploring and he's he's getting his little bits of treats from other people, Well, we were devastated because we thought, oh my God, he's going to be so upset if someone stole him because he has all whole lane to himself. He has yeah. a little routine. He goes to Aldi and... Yeah, oh, they yeah. can come here. He only sleeps here a couple of nights a week. I don't know where he's going. <laughs> <laughs> so, Frankie, yeah. Frankie's a god to some people. He that sleeps idea that he all just... day <laughs> and goes out all night then as well.
They were us living the dream. I think there was us. <laughs> I think they're a bit fed up, fed up with him up and all. He, he goes in and he sits under the flowers. He sits right. there all day. And that, well, I, I, that sort of, I don't know if it's brave or, or whether he just doesn't care about anything, but just stepping in and out the door and sort of being sometimes inside and sometimes outside. I mean, cats can be a little bit worried about automatic doors and being yeah. stuck somewhere, but he just seems to have no fear. I don't know if we have a of it. I don't know how he got like that. I mean, he was completely normal before. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we go off traveling quite a bit ourselves and um, we were kind of saying, you know, because animals are like their owners. So right. my brother goes traveling. My, my little sister is in Australia. My right. big brother's off to Colombia again. My mum's always in Spain. I'm always in Spain. So, so it's monkey see monkey we were do. Just He's like, looking at yeah. you guys all. Oh, well, you I'm guys going as well. This. These are going. Like, <laughs> that's what we presumed. But um, we were absolutely delighted. My brother, when on the day Shelley called, we were all at work. So she held on to him until... That evening, yeah. Matthew went down and picked him up. Oh, imagine that. So and I have a video of that. He's meowing, giving out, and like, <laughs> where were he is. Yeah. Well, yeah. that's the thing. I would imagine as much as it would be confusing for, for Frankie, but there's still got to be that absolute joy yeah. in his mind that this is my familiar... Well, you, you know. know, when we got him two years ago, he was very friendly, and I always said, someone owns this cat for sure. So I right. think that the same thing is after happening. Okay, okay. Only that he for, just went he's from the north side off. of Dublin. Yeah, but right. we did post and ever nobody claimed him, so... Yeah, we yeah. held on to him then because right. we love him now. <laughs> but as I said, we, we can safely say that he, he's one happy cat now. He's relaxed. He's, he's back in the, in the world that he knows and loves. Yeah. So, yeah, so rock and roll. I'll just see if he wants to say a final word. I would imagine he's, uh, <laughs> he just seems very relaxed. I don't want to. Uh... Hey, Frankie, you happy?